Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the G-Line Light Armor. One of the G-Line units made from the second series of the RX-78. This unit focuses on minimum of armor and the maximum of agility and speed. In game, it does this fairly well. It's a 400 cost base, ground and space capable raid. With a ballistic and beam resistance of 8, woof, a melee resistance of 26, a range strength of 28, and a melee strength of 12. Movement speed of an impressive 135, especially at this cost range, and a thrust gauge of 65. For parts, we have close range of 13, medium of 11, and long range of 4. This unit does really well at shooting at people and move, maneuvering around and then moving in to uh, get the kill once they've weakened their opponent. It's a, a bit of a hit and run unit in my opinion. For equipment we have the heavy rifle. You know, I was going to think it was a heavy beam rifle. It is a heat based chargeable beam rifle. It is the only option you have. Then we have the Beam Saber Enhanced, so you can enhance your Wiffle Batting. Then we have Head Mounted Vulcan Late Type. Not bad, not great. Then we have the Missile Launcher. It uh, does decent damage. It has okay uh, uh, number of ammo. And has a actually really nice range. This unit is very good at harassing a unit before they move in and try to finish them off in melee. And of course, it comes with the G-Line Shield, which is a large-sized shield. For skills, we have Emergency Evasion System, High Performance Balancers, Melee Combo Controller Level 2, Maneuver Armor Level 2, High Spec Ambeck Level 2, Forced Injector Level 2, which is very nice, Leg Shock Absorber Level 2, and shield tackle assault booster and shield break mastery my personal opinion of this unit is it dies quick it moves quick it can hit pretty well and it's fun i have a lot of enjoyment out of this raid and um, i think it shows it's just a nice unit overall though i would say pump up its at least defense for ballistic at this range and probably it's beam resistance as much as you can uh, and then just not worry about the melee because it has a pretty decent melee resistance though you can pump it up as well overall it's a really fun high speed unit and i think to a degree it kind of works for my play style so let's see how it does in the match to come hello everybody and welcome to the match hope you're having a fantastic day and uh this is another one of those situation battles because i knew i wanted to get the light armor here uh, recorded and this was one of my better op opportunities to get it so we're gonna be going in uh, with this unit it's actually uh, a very quick unit and I do quite like it I used to play it a lot more but in recent years I haven't played it as much uh, I generally end up being saddled with um, being one of the general units now i know there's a stealth unit you can see the jamming right under the radar we're gonna take a shot miss pump a couple rockets out to uh, push that gelgoog down i'm gonna try to lure the shot out of that our uh, <laughs> ooh, support uh, zaku and uh, we're gonna pop some missiles at him Ooh, nice damage for what it was pop uh, a shot right into uh, our <laughs> gelgoog friend and right now, I'm not pushing too hard, I'm trying to get a feel for this unit as I uh, pop some rounds into people. And of course, I get hit by the stealth way guy stares directly at him. You gotta love it when it happens. Now, at this point, I want to be able to get in and get some maneuvering and attacks on these guys. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna get countered here. I come in, smack him. I didn't want to knock my guy down. I'm going to come in and I'm going to get dogpiled in a second and hit by a down strike that had no business hitting me in any way. I'm going to uh, go ahead and move up, fire into him, and his team is going to do a valiant job at trying to protect him, but the missiles are going to get him. We're going to pop him. 
get him with that, but he's going to be able to shoot us at the same time, and there's our first death. So we're going to pop in at E, and, uh, ooh, going to try to maneuver up and get some shots in on our, uh, Zaku friend, not doing too bad. He's having a bad day, especially at this cost. He's just not having fun. Gonna come in, fire, take him out with that. Get smacked around because this doesn't have blast stabilizers. See the uh, the Dom here. I figured, thought he was gonna turn around, but he didn't. Smack him there. Gonna dodge out of the way. Pop some shots into this Gelgig. Knock him down. Get knocked down. Sometimes it's worth taking the damage, you know? Our team members are going to jostle around out there. I'm going to keep trying to uh, focus on the support here. And I'm going to get basically surrounded in a few minutes. But I'm trying to do what I can. Um, there's not much you could do. So there's our second thing. So we're going to pop in at A and unleash an artillery. Our team seems very unwilling to uh, to maneuver in. So we're going to try to at least put some pressure on that support, which I assume is hanging behind their main line, and then jump into our unit to rejoin our team. So our support fire should be going out. We got a kill with it. There we go. And we see this poor Zaku one. We're going to just go ahead and take the uh, the Jaeger out and get smacked in the face. Now, I know it's Jaeger, but I like to switch around the names because I think it's funny. Um, we're going to come around, and we're going to try to pop some damage in on this guy. We're going to knock him down, maneuver out of the way because we do not want to knock our dies down. And we're going to go ahead and smack that Zaku 1 in a little bit of a thing and we saw that there's gonna be a support fire so we backed off now the Gelgoog's not really paying attention so we're gonna go ahead and come in knock him down after that stagger we'll go ahead and put some more damage on that uh zaku one our team's starting to get a little bit of bravery up so we're gonna start being more aggressive now i know there's a guy behind us as we catch the Gelgoog again knock him down then we're just going to come in and go all in on the Zaku 1 and get rid of him because, well, he could technically clash with me in melee. And I want to uh, get rid of any possibility of that happening. So we're going to go ahead and take the shield off uh, a guy there. We're going to wait for him to do something stupid like shoot and then get him with a missile. Now we know that their knocked friend is here. We're going to... Uh, Basically, push him off. He does not want to uh, play this game. Go ahead and finish off the, the support. And we're just going to keep him kind of contained in there. Now, they're going to plant a bomb, which I thought initially my team was going to go back to stop, but they don't. And I decide, you know what? It's more important, and usually you get more points if you keep putting pressure on a team that's all but weakened. And here we go with our knock friend. We're going to come in and get a little bit of stuff, dodge out, and we're going to lure our uh, <laughs> our very unfavorable situation onto this uh, support Zaku, yeah, and uh, just rip him up pretty bad, and he's going to stop, we're going to take him out, so that's a couple units that we've managed to uh, rip up because uh, the fifth man decided to go off somewhere and our team's able to uh, just dogpile these poor units come in barely miss getting countered unfortunately for him fire again and then we're going to take him in a second and there he goes and that leaves this poor Gelgoog standard Gelgoog we're just gonna wait for him to be done he's in a bad way fire Go ahead and knock him back down. Doesn't matter who gets the kill as long as we get rid of them. And we're just going to put some pressure on the knocked there. Turn around. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And fire. He's gone now. We see that the support is come up here. We're going to pester him with a few of our missiles. Charge the pointless thing. Going to come over. Catch him with it as our dudes put pressure on him from range. 
and we'll use this situation to do as much damage as possible and we'll let him focus on that guy and there we go he's gone again that's put us up pretty well even though they destroyed our base doesn't really matter when uh, you can kill most of their team members and we're gonna come back and start putting some pressure on a knocked friend here fire get some rounds in there oh see the Zaku is low come in catch him with the swing then down swing him back off we're gonna take him as quickly as possible and then we're gonna move up around I got caught there a little bit and well start pestering the crap out of some of these guys we're gonna use our reach to smack him a couple times and there's the end of the match let's see how we did now I didn't feel like it did that good so let's see all right there's the pose of victory and two board positions nice and first place nice thanks for joining me bye bye